Oh, what's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Kingdom of Bavaria. And in this episode uh, we, have a, we have a Persian army coming to attack us at Baghdad and this, this could get a bit tricky. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, my, my hope is to see if we can defend it. If we can't defend it, just try and do as much damage as possible and then this force will come in and take it back. So let's take them on. We do have reinforcements coming in, so that's something, but I really would rather hope that uh, we could just defend the city, but it remains to be seen if that is possible. But let's get ready. We do have a lot of infantry coming in, well a reasonable amount of infantry coming in as reinforcement, so we can handle that. You can handle that the best we can. By that, by that I mean just run them in as fast as possible. Okay, so... Coming in from roughly that direction, so... Just scatter infantry on top of the walls. Yeah, the line inf generally, I like put my line infantry over the gates. So that's all of my infantry committed, as it is. If I want any more used, I have to put it... Uh, I have to wait for reinforcements to come in, which are coming in directly behind us. That's useful. Oh no. They're not coming in straight away. They're falling stupid little columns. Perfect. Okay. And my howitzers are going to open up. The round shot. Well, I fairly. I don't really ignore them firing round shot. Switch them firing. Quick climb. There's a bash you all the way over here as well. But yeah, my mortars can fire quicklime, but mortars, my like mortars controlled by the human player are always terrible in my experience. They're never much good. Okay, right. so first unit. So let's watch. Yeah, that looks okay. I mean, uh, actually, nah. killed some hillmen. Actually, that's not too bad, I suppose. But as soon as my infantry get on the field, just make them run, run into the fortress. The men on the walls are engaging now. It looks like they are folks going to try to take down this section of the wall. So let's get. We need to get ready to lose that. Ooh, good cannon shots. So good. Another unit. Run. Yeah, the intention is well, hopefully you can make some of these units route. Because when they route, we shoot them on the way out, then we shoot them on the way back. One unit is wavering. Well, it remains to be seen if we can make them route. So they might run directly past us. Now they're coming back. Okay. Quick climb shot. Is that a good shot? Mediocre shots. Another unit coming in. Okay, you've beaten them back on the, this flank, which is good. In the centre. We're also beating them back. They've chosen a bit of a poor place for the grappling hooks because they looks like they're trying to just demolish this section of wall anyway, but it looks like, in general, we've managed to repulse their first wave. Which is good. That means our defences will be that much stronger. Oh, yeah, there, we pushed them all back. Okay, so they're going to come back, that's for sure. Because we've not done so much damage, they won't ever come back. have managed to, well, when they come in, they'll be even worse shape, then we'll defeat them, we'll destroy them, and send them back again. Now, you know, now they're starting to come back. The mortifier is so unpredictable. There we go, the first. Come on. Come on in. 
do give me gate shenanigans now. But it's not in, it's not terrible to do something like this. If I am gonna have gate shenanigans, deploy them out wide, sweep away the enemy around the gates. I mean you are gonna still gonna okay now the gates open. Okay, right. But it is better to get in the gate. You might actually carry on doing that plan, because a good chunk of infantry down there. Let's try and get some people inside, because we are going to eventually lose this section of the wall. And it looks like they're getting ready for that. Okay, there we go. to engage. Well, I think they might be trying to flank because the wall is... You're right. So, you men. Abandoned. Ah, oh, too, way too late. They, that, they lost men. That section of the wall fell real quick. They're on 77%. Form up. Good job the quick limb is rubbish because look, it's killing my own men now. Two of these units are useless. And both of these musket units are useless because they've got men stuck on the wall here. So neither of them will do firing drills. Perfect. Well, they shouldn't do firing drills. you need to come over here. Actually, no you don't. With the men on the lower walls. Lost the section of the gatehouse, allegedly. Let's see if combat frees them up. It doesn't look like it will. Hopefully these guys will not get... Oh, actually might do. Looks like they have got un... Some of them got unstuck. So you want to hit the Kizilbashi first. Now you're going to want to come over. Okay, you're good to go, so you're going to form up. Still a guy stuck on the corner, but for now we're just going to say, let's assume these fellas Keep on fighting. Advance. It's one enemy unit defeated. Push on and attack this last unit of Kizilbashi. There's not so many of them, there's a whole bunch of us. More units coming in, so you might stay on fire at will. Charge the 33rd Altar. You're charging around for some reason. Just a second, everyone. These guys have abandoned the wall, which is pretty lame. Oh no, there is a... Oh, it's back there. Okay, so these units are going to go on a charge rampage. Because there isn't actually anything else for them to do. So you guys are going to come back over here. Well, actually, one of you, this unit, is able to 
actually fight normally. Human attack at 33rd. Keep pushing these men up outside the wall. Take this from the wall and engage the fifth. Finally, men. Charge the third. Right now, it's my light infantry holding the wall here. So, ideally, I want to do that. You men charge over and attack this unit on the wall. Oh, is that fighting to the death? I have not seen that in years, that symbol. Years. That's, that's actually, I can't even actually remember the last time I saw that symbol. That's really cool. So the AI is demonstrating how lame it is. Because my wall, my gate, because there's a guy stuck behind one of my, stuck in the gate. Two guys stuck in the gates. So these guys will never actually fire. So you guys, this Bavarian Regiment of Foot will never ever form firing drills. And because they won't ever form firing drills, they're just going to sit here and add some muscle. Bodyguards, pour fire into the 20th. They're, they're going to be down for the count before long. Then we stop firing, you'll be doing as much damage to my guys as you are to the enemy. focusing on attacking the poor old 7th order, but they're going to leave themselves a bit exposed. I wonder why you guys aren't charging. How... Oh, you are charging, you're just going to run very slowly, so let's just don't charge and just run them in. Stay in square, because you can avoid some attack against the general. There come their guns coming in, close range. Here. All you have to do is hold the rest of the line here now. Hopefully we can knock out the general. Hopefully we can knock out the 20th soon enough. Then when we do, we can go knock out the guns. Actually, they might be... Okay, they're aiming at nothing useful. Losing men hand over fist. This colonial line unit charge off of the wall. Got the enemy general. Enemy gunners are routing. You're routing. The only thing that isn't routing are these cavalry. Okay, let's click speed up time and see what if the cavalry is going to do anything. It doesn't look like they are. Over on man guns, see if we can cause them to actually do something. Uh, you go after gun crews. Ah, they're sending in a unit of camel gunners, which have dismounted first. 
Okay, the guns are routing again. Camel gunners are routing. Are the cavalry routing? Yep, they are routing. Excellent. We're going to need more men to try and take a city from us. Persia. Excellent. That's handy. So that means our army in the northeast could potentially keep driving on northeast. I mean, that is going to get broken. So not much time, not much point having that there. 34,000 Weaver's Cottage sabotaged. Get you guys in. So recruit two, three howitzers and a gun. You got two slots. Get two Chevaux Leger. Because that army should replenish by the time anything scary comes along. You can indeed. Ooh, hello. You're gonna come south, are you? Oh, we have numerous men ready. Okay, I forgot what everything's for now. Too low, man. Okay, I'm going to nick. Who doesn't worry? He's in a Chevaux Leger. But here's Doradzlaf. And you've got two slots left. You, yeah, that's handy. You can take the remaining two units. Or the two remaining two units can come to you. Excellent. Got, got leave wine gut. Nice. Okay, so we've got. Well, we have, we've taken Ankara. And now our armies are starting the process of clearing it. You're all going to push up, see if you can lure in any of these fellows to try and attack you. You're at full strength, Mr. Muller, so you're going to drive down here as well to provide some backup. Upgrade the mine, let's upgrade Konya to a coaching... No, actually, we want a church school, because we've probably got a madrasa somewhere we can get rid of. I oh, know, lots of coaching inns. You keep replenishing... You recruit a colonial militia to go around and secure Sinop. You're going to try and engage Mr. Farid. You. You're going to secure Ardville. Yerevan is all they've got left. But then what we, what we want to do is I've got this Royal Bulls up in the last episode, but at least that's the kind of navy I was looking to see. So let's get two more second rates and then a selection of forts. Maybe not maybe not entire yeet production, <laughs> entire economic cycles worth. Ten grand. Okay, what can we do here? You can step up. We need to start pushing out of Transylvania. Make sure everyone that is replenishing, anyone that can replenish is replenishing. You guys are going to hold. You're okay for now. You're potentially frustrating. You men back them up. So you were, mm, yeah, yeah, to be honest, I need to start crushing my enemies. Can you get around there in one turn? Likely not, but I don't think there's anyone up there to stop you. Even so, go up to Bergen. The next turn, instead of going for the Maratha Confederacy, you are going to hop up to Archangel. It's going to hit them in the rear. You're ready to rock and roll here. So let's go take out this Russian army here. Yeah, we've got lots of... There are lots of things we can do um, with Bavaria. The end turn phase is almost entirely 
dictated by my treasury rather than by <laughs> rather than my number of targets. Uh, many, many possible targets. But let us see. So my guns to pull on the high ground. Howitzers deploy. They're going to fire a round shot because the enemy is not so dangerous. And I want to see if I can get some more experience. My heavy infantry going to be on the right flank. Because that's the flank nearest the town. Well, that's going to happen. They may have to go through the town. Skirmishes on the left stay out of the town. Light cavalry skirmishers and my hussars are going to push the left. Horse guards on the right. General in the centre. Open fire. Skirmishers. Make sure my light cavalry skirmishers go first. Yeah, howitzers attack. Cavalry. Cavalry, cavalry. Gunners just go after their line formations. Yeah, how it's fire, just focus on damaging their cavalry. We're not so bothered about their infantry here. It looks like they are beginning to withdraw. Let's let my line format. Let my line run, because the first light foot are on their way. So let's engage them with musket fire. Toggle light infantry behaviour and advance and skirmish order. Advance towards the town. The 95th has become an honorary heavy infantry unit. Run my heavy infantry in position. Because the enemy militia are very close. Just out of range of my light cavalry skirmishers, so push them forward. My skirmishers run. They might actually be in range. Oh, they are not intending take the bait, which is good, it means they will die. Don't worry, they're confident. Well, the Lancers aren't. The more of my howitzers can target the central mask, it looks like we're going to... Okay, there we go. Am I skirmishes in range yet? No. Nope. Horse guards. We've got cavalry defences, so we're not going to be too, going to be too crazy. There we go. My skirmishes are engaging, so what? Or just engaging. My 
line is engaging. There we go. So my light cover skirmishers reload. A madman with hatchets heading your way. My light horse wants to have a go at them. Skirmishers cease fire. Ah, too bad, they fired the volley. But. Heavy cavalry charge the militia. Many men have just died from fright. charging so get ready to form square Who's that blunderbuss shotgunners okay first of all cavalry lead you men take out the shotgunners Bring my cavalry back. Form square, sadly. So they're gonna get but you wanna get hit by their skirmishes. You may drive up here, you may drive that way. All my howitzers focus on the light cavalry. Same all my gunners really. My hussars come out of the trees. To the 40th Regiment of Foot. Charge! It's a man flying. Keep on attacking. The enemy's almost at the full retreat. Just the air, go after the go after the infantry. We're gonna soften up a bit with a bit of musket fire. Let my heavies get in and do the work. Continue to attack the mercenaries. I mean, my light cavalry skirmishes are beginning to are continuing to pick off their Don the Cossacks cavalry. Okay, let's get it. General over here because it looks like we're gonna have a opportunity to destroy routing the infantry. And I should really be using my sharpshooters to engage the eighth light horse. And, uh... Oh, I see. They're not actually. So this is the problem with light infantry drills. They will start to engage things, or they will continue to engage things that have left their arc of fire. So they were shooting, but they're, they were actually out of range. Need to put them back in range. Push the eager. I mean, it won't be long. There we go. Yeah, see, they've already. Oh, they were getting ready to fire a volley. Yeah, we're going to continue. Simonevsky foot guards would be a nice one to take out. Actually, you might go for blunderbuss shotgunners because they're behind us. And I think most of these, well, you guys need to just cooperate or go for someone else. Foot guards would be nice. I'm surprised they're actually as depleted as they are. Well, they must have been on their flank with the militia and then just got shot to hell and back. But it looks like they've routed. No, they haven't routed. They're just, their flag is just somewhere else. Try to get the marines two men close. And they got them. So they can continue. Oh, you found the rest of the foot guards, I suppose, over there somewhere. 
Ooh, we've managed to kill enough of them to prevent them from making it to the line. Excellent. Nice, that's always good to see. So that is a <laughs> Russian army not in almost entirely destroyed. Yeah, remnants. This is why we have units like this. Because he can chase them down. Without compromising the security of St. Petersburg. So let's get you up to Moscow. Yeah, they've got some troops around Moscow. They're afraid. They're afraid of what might happen. You're out of range. You're replenishing. You are replenishing. You're not worth attacking. We may as well intercept you when the time comes. Ah, I believe the intention here is to try and build you up as a garrison army. Let's drive you forward towards Russia. Let's see if we can provoke you fellows to attack. Because these men, they're going to raid, but that's okay. Actually, we might repair these, because these are in safe territory. And upgrade. And actually, sorry, we can use you guys, I remember now. This is this can be part of the problem by having so much on. Is that before you know it, you've actually got a ludicrous amount of armies to move on the field at once. You are going to land at... Staraya Ladoga. March on the march down the road towards Moscow. And then you're gonna go back to Galinia. At least these guys will try and prevent them from crossing the river. Will attempt they will attempt to prevent them from crossing the river. Bring you to a theatre. Upgrade the opera house to a grand opera house. I'm not so bothered about the research. Upgrade the gunnery school in Munich to a engineering board. Ordnance board, rather. I need to start recruiting more troops from back here because we've still got some fun units. Got the howitzer back here. I'm not going to recruit it. Uh, you know, at some point, we do need to take out Cagliari but, uh, and Malta. But we'll do that once we've got some of these more dangerous areas secure. Okay, let's hit enter. Pushing up to the front. I mean, look at. I don't want to. I'm going to fight. I'm sorry. No, I don't want to fight it. Not with my depleted army. If they run forward to my knackered army, yes. Then yes. We'll do it just to. Well, we need to fight it. Otherwise, they'll just keep massing and massing and massing. May as well attack them now while they are cheap and easy to kill. I don't want to order resolve it, because I've got two really good armies. I'll probably lose a couple of thousand men. Let's get ready. That's <laughs> lovely terrain up there. So... Send forward my regulars. For my regulars, my elites, I mean, who just look great. Yes, sir. Grenadiers that we've really seen and now in love. Grenadier. More grenadiers. Okay. Leave regiment, which just look pretty good, I think. What I want yes, to see sir. is the grenadier guard, which look like grenadiers, but just look better. Proper grenadier guards. Nice. Guns are going to hold their position. Howitzers are going to open up. With quick climb. I'm not looking for a decent win, I'm looking for an annihilation. Since all of my cavalry have enjoyed the action. Hey. By the howitzers already. Oh, 
rip them all down. What? I mean, it sounds, sounds a bit of a it seems a bit of a waste to send all of my infantry, but whatever. Mainly because the enemy, the bulk of the enemy's garrison guards are coming in from all the way back there. You may get a volley off, but I've got a lot of cavalry heading your way. <laughs> Surprised it took that long, to be honest. Yeah, it says enemy general killed, but that's not an enemy general. That's their captain. Tasty, delicious warband. Are they running? Oh no, they are walking. Okay, we're going to speed this up just to not waste too much time. General idea is just going to be form your line, envelop them. Cause them to break and cavalry them to death. I mean, these are tech, these are foot guards, these aren't bad units, so we do want to kill them. Now, my heart is going to fire at will. Round sharp. Still not going to move my guns because there's no point. This is part of what happens is they, they decide, oh no, actually, your cavalry is what we're interested in. And immediately they go, oh god, they're coming! Those people are trying to kill us! Foot guards, and with a mighty cheer, a volley into the tenth light hussars first, but the cavalry just kept on coming. They really are steady. Yeah, a few men have them within range. Break off the general bodyguard. You men all cease fire. Everyone cease fire. And dispatch. Damn right we're going to continue. Two here, only one now, good. New men go after those guys. Three men left, and they're all there. Nice. So that is quite a decent little chunk of enemy troops just gone. And nice and cheap for the Bavarian taxpayers as well. Yeah, you better run. You can try plug some gaps, but you know those. Oh god, again. Except with light cavalry this time. We may as well do it, otherwise we'll never advance. If we don't do it, we'll yeah, we'll just get stuck attacking bit, being attacked by bits and pieces until we can drive through in the southeast. But they haven't got many cities left, really. Meet 
fight you on the battlefield the way men of old would fight. Keep my infantry out of it. Keep my guns out of it. Got provincial cavalry, provincial cavalry, plus it would appear a unit of skirmishes. Run my skirmishes up first. Yeah, it looks like skirmishes to me. Irregulars. Fire at will. General drive straight through the gap. Go for the irregulars. We're not going to be quite so rigorous in pursuing the enemy this time. Have, have at you, skirmishers! You thought you were providing useful capability? I think not. Oh, my general's dead. <laughs> El Clasico! Oh well. Plenty more where they came from. I'm really not attached to my generals in this game, unlike I am a Napoleon. Because it's actually be like, oh no, not not, uh, not Thomas Picton and not John Moore, and you know they're actual names I I know from history, and I'm like, oh those guys are cool, I want them. Whereas here it's kind of more. Randomly generated person number one. Well, not ran. Well, kind of randomly. Names might be real, but uh, portraits kind of get mixed up a bit. They might consider that a good outcome. They might have gone, oh, you know what? We managed to kill their general. That's pretty good. Hey, buddy. Ooh. Oh yeah, they're very depleted. They are very depleted, the Ottomans are. That's why I've got that army in Cyprus. I actually want to keep them alive because it's, it's providing a drain on their economy without providing any useful military capability. It's denying me one port, but it's not a port that, I'm actually, that I actually care about. So. Gun is on this slight bit of high ground to the rear. So then... Combine my large units of infantry. See, I like combining similar sizes of infantry, just it makes deployment that much easier. Foot guards and my leap guard at Trabatan are going to hold behind the line. Felt Jaeger Sophia push the right flank. Lancer guards and Hohenzollern push the left. My howitzers are going to fire round shot to try and get the experience up. So mean to have so much good artillery. How it's just good for the camels and the sipahi, heavy guns, heavy horse how it's ah there we go, they're they're running. How it's as quick line of sipahi. I might have been too late. No I haven't. My, my heavy horse guard on today wasn't late. Oh, oh, oh. Fortunately, there might be a 
bit late. To, oh no, we're gonna, we are going to get volleys into them. They're wavering as well. So get ready, Marines. Save your infantry comrades. Okay, yeah, now they're coming after us. Coming after us as if it's a kind of threat. These layers are going to open up on those camels. Yeah, I mean, yeesh. Okay, you stay where you are. Put some shots into the Mamelukes. Position my cavalry ready to deal with the routing units. You men secure the hill. When I say routing units, I don't mean routing cavalry, I mean routing foot infantry. She goes back to round shot. Guns cease fire. Got Jaeger, go for the riskers of souls. Yeah, my general's bodyguard came back. I'm not that particularly bothered. No matter what unit they go for. They will die. There's so many men, you're not going to kill them all. See, this is my curiosity air they managed to hit. So their general, whoever he is. No, not my curiosity air. Yeah, they will all die. Uh, the Azar might be a bit annoying because they're out of range. Which should advance a small unit up. It's the last risker of, risker of, risker of souls. Go for the Nizam. You guys head over. You guys abandon attacking the cavalry. Continue. Even go for that Nizam. Even go for the Azar. Even go for that Nizam. Good. Take some good damage. One of your last colleagues. Where's the other? There he is. Okay, he's gone. You men knock out the last of these Israeli. This unit of Nizam, I do like Nizam. It's, it's unfortunate the Ottomans actually wasn't one of the campaigns that crashed for me, but I love the Ottoman unit roster. There's a lot of really good, fun, varied stuff. Let's 
suppose I should push on to the Armenian archers because I've got units behind that can mop up that unit of Islam. Yeah, this is why it could... the games when you have a whole bunch of cavalry, you come across some areas like this and you're like, yes, thank god I had a whole bunch of cavalry. Okay. Yes, we lost 75 men, their armies are completely, nearly completely destroyed. It's because they know they haven't got the firepower they need to hold on to it. It looks like they're going to be continuing to steal my technology as a bargaining chip. Interesting, they're falling back from Vilnius, that means we have an opportunity here to advance. It is quite interesting they appear to be choosing to fall back. Persia gonna Persia. That's fine, as long as I hold the territory. So I'm gonna send another reinforcing army recruited in the Middle East, east. So you're trying to break. Okay, you guys, you guys can push. You men can push up as well I would say Maybe you push to the bridge see if you can entice them to attack you so port a spare gun let's recruit a colonial militia unit to guard this military port I mean you are going to water as of Suleiman Hilmi yeah because his army is also very depleted So you've done your job. Your force is depleted. You're going to get orders to attack Yerevan. Just drive straight through. You men go to the south. Because then that is the east secured. The great better roads. Get my militia over to Sino. I mean, I don't have very much money at all. 27,000. And again, it's going to be almost entirely taxed, and I've got a huge army. Let's stop exempting Ankara from tax. Let's repair. Okay, I might dump all of this money into economy upgrades because I need it. I need so much cash. I mean, even farms will do. Farms and ports. Although we can't upgrade many ports, we upgrade the government governor's palace here at Brussels. So if I move you out, then it now means the sloop carries my troops. You can get there. Excellent. So that should cause a commotion behind the lines. You men. Oh, just a second, everyone. Take 
Euer Majestät. I realised after my throat went squeaky, I haven't actually been talking for the last few minutes, so I'm sorry about that. Um, but my plan was, <laughs> I was, I was <laughs> my plan was to uh, uh, use the force in the Algarve and then its force here to attack the head of the Russian column and smack them and drive them east. But it looks like the Vilnius garrison wants to fight first, which is fine. But looking at the timer. I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for probably the destruction of the Vilnius garrison. Cheers, everyone. Mm -hmm.